いい加減にしなさいうるせえからでおやあはい、皆さん、今日は15日の t a k i s o b a を話しています。Tokyo Godfathers! I'm your anime professor, Malesh, with my anime apprentice, Nate. Tokyo Godfathers! I'm your anime apprentice, Nate. Tokyo Godfathers! is a perfect film to watch for the Christmas season. The story revolves around a trio of homeless folk who, while searching for food, find an abandoned baby. They take the baby and go on a humorous adventure to find its parents. I'd say this anime wasn't strictly a comedy per se, it had a lot of drama, but it was very engaging nonetheless. Let's jump right into this review. Tokyo Godfathers debuted in Japanese theaters on November 8th, 2003, and came out to America in early 2004. It was directed by the famous Satoshi Kon, who many claim to be one of the most talented directors ever. Kon is known for focusing on types of characters you don't often see in anime, like the homeless. Furthermore, he shows a different side to the Israeli used archetypes, as you can see in Tokyo Godfathers. The main homeless trio consists of Miyuki, a high school girl who ran away from her parents, Hana, a drag queen who is searching for a reason to live again, and Gen, an older man. Who left his family after accumulating debt. This unlikely group goes on an adventure to find the parent of the abandoned baby, and the story was filled with great moments that made you care about these characters a lot more than you'd think. Early on in the story, I found myself wondering exactly what the real takeaway was, but in the end, I understood it was just truly a Christmas story to the core, with a lot of quirky yet touching moments. I was captivated by the more dramatic developments, and there were some very amusing twists as well. It's a very fulfilling story with a lot of underutilized characters, who I'll talk about now. Molest already mentioned the main cats, Miyuki, Hana, and Gin, and I will say they do exhibit a lot of the quirky group dynamic trope, which we've seen in things like Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Champloo. In this film, there is great and realistic character development, given the backstory they reveal. One common theme throughout the film is the small world trope, where a lot of characters will be introduced to another character by way of miraculously knowing someone who knows someone else, or Magically bumping into someone at just the right time to help continue on with their journey. These interactions have great range between comedic and dramatic, and there are also a lot of explicit references to Christianity, which I found interesting because the religion is extremely small but a real minority in Japan. Kone does a great job of making unique backstories for each of his main characters, and seeing them grow throughout the story was really enjoyable. One of my favorite moments was seeing Miyuki interact with his Latino mother. Now there was a language barrier between the two, however, they still managed to have a conversation about the importance of family. It drove Miyuki's character development by her realizing the importance of dealing with family. Even though she learned it from someone that she couldn't even really understand that well. Love and family are major themes in Christmas movies, and Tokyo Godfathers offers its own fun variations of those themes with characters you don't often see in anime. The Great m a t o Studios was behind anime and Tokyo Godfathers. Who we've loved for shows like One Punch Man and Tatsumi Galaxy. So, giving them a film budget for Tokyo Godfathers was a match made in heaven. m a t t o s down to the park again for this film, nailing Satoshi Kon's unique art style that are seen in other stuff like Paprika and Perfect Blue. For a film that came out in 2003, where digital animation was still a new technique, Tokyo Godfathers manages to fit in perfectly with the modern look of anime today. I agree that this film holds up extremely well by today's standards, with an incredibly unique art style I have only seen from Satoshi Kon's other works. I really love this art style, maybe more so than any other style in anime, and although completely different, I would say it's high up in the ranks along with Studio Ghibli in terms of quality and consistency. I love Christmas themed music, and Tokyo Godfathers offers many remixes to classical Christmas tracks, so of course I love the soundtrack throughout the film. The ending song for the credits was especially awesome. As for the Japanese voice acting, it was great. I really liked the way Japanese actors would voice characters like Hana, who was a flamboyant drag queen. Lastly, I found it hilarious how Spanish was incorporated in the film. I also enjoyed the voice acting. 
The tone and delivery of the characters was excellent, and I was also greatly amused by the portrayal of a flamboyant drag queen. Like Malesh mentioned, there are some characters in this film who speak Spanish natively, and there were no subtitles for them in the English release. This was an interesting decision, as the Japanese characters do not understand any Spanish, so we are able to share their cluelessness. Other than that, I found the soundtrack good and fitting. I'm not really one to enjoy Christmas-related music, but I know it was very good nonetheless. This has been my second Satoshi Kon film, and I'm starting to see now why people revere his films so much. Tokyo Godfathers was a unique experience, but many characters you just don't see in anime. Having a trio of homeless people trying to figure out where this embedding baby came from turned out to be an epic journey, but with plenty of Christmas magic as well. Before this film, I had also only watched one other film by Satoshi Kon, which was Paprika. Both films are masterpieces in my mind, and I would say they are very unique and enriching experiences. This film is great even for absolute anime casuals, and tis the season, so I hope you find it as enjoyable as we did. Sadly, the stellar Blu-ray for this film is Japan exclusive, but we in the West have an affordable DVD release with English subtitles, and you can stream the film on Crackle. As always, if you've already watched Tokyo Godfathers, click the first link in the description for a post-review discussion, which includes spoilers. Thanks for watching our review of Tokyo Godfathers. Please give it a like or comment for feedback. We'll see you guys next time with the review of this season's titillating hit anime, Keijo. Merry Christmas, everybody.